Hey everyone on Instagram, it's Edward here live just checking in with all of you and I, before I went live I was fluffing my hair, I put a bit of concealer on, I've been running around the room trying to get a good angle, you know yourself, before you're going live to all your people and like I know there's not like loads and loads of people watching but the people that are watching we're all here together just getting through life. But um, right now we're painting and we got loads of different paints and we even got paints that we collected when we were in Los Angeles. We got like, all these cool metallic paints because um, when Ed Sheeran painted us the painting, we kind of had a conversation on Instagram prior to painting stuff for each other. And um, he was like, oh, I'll paint you guys a painting if you paint me a painting. So um, we're kind of now like painting that painting right now. So we're just kind of getting all the different colors together, but it's kind of crazy when you're doing art because it's like mixing colors and like, I feel like it's the art and the different, and then it's also the canvases and stuff that make a painting. But like the painting that he made us is just like crazy how big it is. Like it was literally came Christmas Eve Eve. And like, that was crazy. I don't know how the hell he delivered it to us. Like it was such a surprise Like we were not expecting it. And it was so crazy because, um, he mentioned to us that he was sending us the painting but we didn't know when and then um it just came and it was in this massive wooden box like it's huge like it's literally the size of a wall it's definitely like half it's it's you don't really see how big it is and then um it was so funny like I, we made a video it was literally like um to jedward from ed Sheeran, and like the postman i feel like usually it's just like john or edward or something like that but when it's in our name, the postman just has this realization where he's like, oh shit, this is their place. But um, it's always good. And it just, I feel like with painting and stuff, it's like the time and effort that someone took in their life to make you this painting. And like, cause I feel like some of us are like really, really have all different styles in art. And like when I studied art in school, I feel like people in Ireland, they go art or, or I don't know if I pronounce it right. Sometimes people correct me and go, it's not art, it's art. Or... But anyway, um, my art teacher was really, really cool. But um, if you're thinking of doing art, arts and crafts, just like embrace your style. Because sometimes people think there's one formula. And sometimes when you're doing art lessons, um, they can kind of teach you a way that they think is the correct way. So if you're thinking of doing painting and stuff, like just embrace your style. Because I feel like sometimes, like I'm like a perfectionist. Like sometimes when I'm doing art, but um, it's better to have a plan or maybe like just paint, but logistically, it's good to kind of have some kind of structure. It's kind of like going into like an exam, like have a structure. Cause once you start painting and um, if you don't work out the dimensions or different things like that, or you don't have to do it that way. But me, myself, I know that when I did my junior search, I did this painting of a frog and this garden and a fountain, loads and loads of flowers. And it was, I spent more time thinking about what I was going to do because once it's painted, it's like, Jesus Christ, how the hell am I going to get rid of this poppy or flower that I painted? And then sometimes it's good to have a good background, like do a base of like, you know, like the sky or something. Because if you start drawing people and different objects in the back of those objects, it's going to be very, very hard to fill in the different things. And I feel like with art as well, it's the different techniques and like things that it's not so much, oh my God, I spent loads of time doing these details. It's more about, um, everyone said the frog was iconic, but I don't think anyone saw my painting. But recently we were going through the shed in our granny and granddad's garden. And um, I found loads of different artwork that I'd done in school. Like, but it was so crazy because I used to do this lino. It's like where you got lino and you like, you like carve out the painting or whatever. And then you put in, you can print it. So it's like you're making a stamp or something. But I did like really intricate stuff. And like those people in my class. And really, really good. Everything they were doing just had more. And I feel like that's why art. And like with people who do art, it's good just to, because knowing people are paying style. I'm not saying people are paying art. But um, I'm just saying, it's your own story. And I feel like don't just draw something for the sake of drawing it. 
like if it has a meaning or a mess it's so fucking random but it just my head because i was thinking about the paint like like just like all these different paints like sorry there's my face like the paint and they're like metallic paint up and then we also just these different ones like nothing special like green and stuff and then um because i used to do a lot of watercolor and like watercolor is like jesus christ it's like you're painting with water and then it has a slight dye of color so it's like it could go all crazy like you're literally it's kind of crazy. I got that was like my first time kind of painting that stuff. But anyway, some of the sound is weird. You can all hear me. I've just been on a tangent of myself. But um, loads of comments. Um, hello, hello. Um, oh, sound keeps cutting out probably because I've battered. 